You have to breathe. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time, my name is Precious. On this channel, I help you understand that family and relationship is a work in progress through my videos. If you like my video, you enjoy my video, please press the subscribe button and the notification bell. It's going to do me a lot more good. And also, let me know in the comment section that you've done so. All my returning subscribers, thank you, thank you so, 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 so much. So on today's video, I'm going to be talking about first sex in postpartum. So after your baby is born, the first do that you're going to do with your partner, I'm going to be talking about everything about it i know that a lot of you will be thinking oh my god already she's talking about sex yes i am talking about sex because sex is very very important so if you want to know um what to do how to go about it when you're ready and all of that sit back and watch this video to the end i know a lot of you know that there are some women that during their pregnancy they find sex very painful find sex very difficult irritating and all of that and there are a lot of women that when they are pregnant oh my god they can do the do however whenever they like and they enjoy it so so much but after the baby is born you know when you go through that process of labor and having to push the baby out or even through cesarean section however means that your baby was born thankfully the baby is healthy you are healthy that's what's most important and that's what you need to know after going through that phase you become really sore the last thing on your mind is sex so it's not something you're going to be thinking about the first few days but at some point you know you have to start thinking about it because it's something you're going to be doing you're not just going to ban sex forever so it's something you're going to be doing after the first few days you're very sore you're trying to recover you're trying to get back into routines to take care of the baby and all of that like i said sex is not something on your mind this is why for you to even start talking about sex for you for you to even start thinking about sex the need, first thing you need to know or bear in mind is that you have to be mentally ready some women um, it takes them a long time to actually get to the point where they want to have sex. Can I just say to you that every woman is different. Some people have sex after one week of having a baby. Some people have sex after two months, three months of having a baby. You just need to know what works for you. So, but one thing you need to bear in mind is that you, you have to be ready mentally for you to be able to have sex. You have to know that, okay, now I'm ready to have sex. You're not, you're not supposed to be forced into it. You're not supposed to like drag yourself into it, all of that. You need, and you would know when you're ready. Your body, everything is going to be like, mm, I'm ready not to have sex. I'm ready not to have sex. So what I'm trying to say in essence is that you have to be mentally ready to have sex before you have sex after the birth of your baby. Then after you're f mentally ready, you have to be physically ready. I tell you what, a lot of women after the birth of their baby, they find themselves to be unattractive. They become very conscious of their body as a result of the changes that had gone on. Their breast is now somehow they are, they are um, bleeding, the stretch mark, their tummy is something uh, you can't even mention. A lot of women also find it difficult to even look at themselves on the mirror. Now, you have to be physically ready to have sex, okay? You have to be physically ready. What do I mean by being physically ready? You have to be healed properly down there. You don't want to rush into having sex and you start you get give yourself infection basically So you have to make sure you're healed down there. You're okay physically. You're okay and um, As well as you're mentally ready physically you're ready then Why not then you can decide to do the do but make sure that you're mentally and physically ready I don't need to tell you the things that would give you or suggest to you if you know that you're still a bit wobbly when you're walking you may not be ready if you know that you're still like some women you know actually have sex when they are bleeding now in this channel we don't judge people everybody's different if you want to do the do when you're bleeding that's you that's fine if you provided you're comfortable with it your partner is comfortable with it that's fine and some people decide you know what i'm not doing the do until i stop bleeding even some people even after they stop bleeding they are not physically ready so also bear in mind that people are different you are unique in your own self be mentally ready have things that you need to put in place to check tick 
basically to ask yourself am i mentally ready and am i physically ready so write the things that are mental for you and write the things that are physical for you that you need to tick off your boss to make sure that you're ready before you do the do because the do is something you're going to be doing all the time so don't rush it make sure you're mentally and physically ready to do it another thing as well you need to bear in mind before you do the do is that you know when it comes to doing the first do after having the baby one of the things you need to bear in mind is that down there <laughs> may be very very dry like seriously dry and um, when i mean dry it's not the dry of having after your period you know when you finish having your period you become a bit dry no this is another level of dryness okay so that place is going to be really really dry you may need some bedroom aid, okay? When I mean bedroom aid, you need, you're definitely gonna need a lubricant. That is something that you are not going to do without. You need to have a lubricant and a good lubricant. I always advise that you should go for water-based lubricant, which I'm going to be linking on the description section of this video. If you want a water-based lubricant, go on the description section of this video you're going to find links that would direct you to amazon to buy a water-based lubricant i beg you please don't use something that is not don't use anything that's going to cause infection for you because no matter how it is this is your first do you remember we're talking about your first do so whatever you introduce into your vagina is going to cause problem for you especially something that is not okay for down there don't forget that down there is very very sensitive so you definitely are going to need a lubricant get a good one what other bedroom aid do you need you may need some sex toys for people who are into things like that you may need some sex toys you may need water in the bedroom like those are the things because you might be thirsty you may need water anything that you think that you need during normal sex okay even before you had a baby know that you're probably going to need it times two for your first sex after having a baby so bedroom aid i'm going to be listing a lot of them on the description section of this video if you want to get them get them but bear in mind that um if you your first sex you're finding it difficult to get wet you're finding it difficult to um um actually enjoy it just know that it's okay because it's the first one okay in fact make sure your drawer has lubricant if you just had a baby and before you have your your first sex make sure you have what lubricant inside of your draw very very important so that place is going to be very very dry it's absolutely normal it's okay it's it's fine okay nobody's expecting you to actually have your first sex for you to be like dripping wet juicy and all of that nobody's expecting that it's actually not I don't think it happens so if you find that that place is very dry don't be ashamed because one of the things that women um do is that sometimes they put pressure on themselves when they're having this intimacy with their partner they are not wet as they're supposed to be wet they become a bit shy they feel like oh my body is failing me oh i'm not doing what i'm supposed to do babe that's why we have lubricants in the market go and buy lubricant a good one and keep whenever you feel like the place is as dry as sahara desert use lubricant it's gonna go a long way and it's gonna help you you come back and thank me later okay another thing as well when it comes to first sex is that there are some positions that will be very very uncomfortable yes very very uncomfortable so if you try a particular position using lubricant using the bedroom aid the things that's good that are going to help your um the sex to be as comfortable as possible when you use all of that and you find that the position you are in at that moment is uncomfortable try a different position bib nobody says that you have to be knocking a particular way okay try different positions because the position you're using at that time may not be the best position for you a different position may, might just be comfortable so the fact that you go in let's say with doggy you find it uncomfortable you say oh yeah it's so uncomfortable it's so uncomfortable no that may be uncomfortable but a different position will not be uncomfortable for you okay so try different positions if you find that the first position is uncomfortable try a different position keep trying keep exploring you know that kind of thing keep exploring you might just find a position that is very comfortable for you at that time bear in mind that you're still healing so the the longer you stay after having a baby the better so another thing as well when it comes to having sex is that you have to breathe some people when they're having sex and it's so painful they just like stiffen their body breathing is one thing that every human being 
is supposed to be doing consciously okay because it relaxes you it, it makes you feel really really relaxed and really really calm so during the first sex after having a baby do what breathe breathing and breathe out okay that's gonna help you and it's gonna go a very long way and another thing as well that you need to bear in mind when having your first sex is that if it's uncomfortable please stop nobody says that you have to have sex um after five weeks nobody says that you have to have sex after six weeks nobody gives you a particular time to say this is when you can have sex okay if you try it and it's not comfortable for you you are not in it's not a do or die affair stop and give yourself some time to heal maybe that place just needs to heal a little bit more or maybe you're not physically ready or maybe you're not mentally ready or maybe you're not just ready in yourself okay because let me tell you something when it comes to the first sex after having a baby your emotion i tell you what the last thing you're going to be thinking about that this is for some women is even having sex when you just had a baby or when you just had a baby like a few weeks ago it's sex because you're there looking after the baby through the night you're there looking after the you're basically the baby is just everything about it is just the baby the baby the baby you know sex is one of those things that you for you to actually be in that mood as a woman or as a man it's something you have to be thinking about your calm your hormones and all of that but girl when all you do is baby for someone like me that have three kids already and naomi is my number four <laughs> sex is the last thing on my mind so if i'm not comfortable i would stop so if you find it that is uncomfortable for you after everything i've said every, after everything i've mentioned just know that you're not ready okay stop and give yourself some time i'm going to be making a video on the things that you can do to actually get you to that point where you are mentally and physically ready to start having sex again if you know me sex is something i talk about there's no married couple that did not go into marriage because sex is part of it so um it's very very important it's a vital thing in every relationship so i'm going to be making videos because i know a lot of women out there um, the first sex after postpartum or after having a baby is very very difficult it's something that <laughs> they, they have to prepare and prepare and prepare and prepare basically some of them do it because of their man just to make their man happy but it's something that needs to be enjoyed by both of you and finally one of the things that we need to do as well when it comes to sex is to communicate if you're finding it uncomfortable if you think sex this Thing you're doing now is uncomfortable for you have a conversation with your partner women we need to get to a point where we can start talking okay you can ask your husband for oh babe can you help me with the baby babe can you do this in the house but when it comes to our, your need emotional need which is a sexual side of things you don't really talk you have to come to a place where you can start communicating better because if your husband or if your wife understands that this is how it's going on with you this is how it's going on with you they may help you they may find remedy for you they may do a lot of things for you what i'm trying to say in essence is that if you're not ready stop and communicate better with your partner they may just be the person that would help you instead of going to therapy or instead of going to the doctor to complain and all of that and one thing you need to bear in mind is that it everybody's different like i said it may take you longer for your the urge of sex to come back okay it may take you longer that this is why i'm going to be making another video on the things that you need to do to actually put you in the mood to have sex okay guys this is the the checklist basically the checklist that you need to tick before you have sex okay the first sex after having a baby i hope you enjoyed it if there's anything that you did on your own that really helped you to have to be able to go through that first sex thing let me know in the comment section if you think there's anything i've mentioned that really really makes sense to you and you can actually relate let me know in the comment section but for now thank you so much for watching be grateful be positive and be yourself see you on my next video bye for now